Hey team, welcome to this week's Team Quantum Bite. First of all, we've had our Kids Rich in Character seminars that we've run over the last few months. At our last one, we had John Graham, who spoke about the value of the Kids Rich in Character program, but particularly, we were involved with the ambassadors. Here's what he had to say. The youngsters, seeing them, admiring them, okay, they can see them as a role model, and I think it's a key start to the program. Here's a clip of Leslie Tate, the principal of Red Beach School, who's just been awesome supporting of us um, through running Kids Rich in Character at her school. And that's how we suddenly got that sort of idea that actually a lot of really good character building had happened to people on our staff through sport. At the seminars we've had about 60 schools that have come along and out of that the great response we've had is from 25 schools that have said, we want to launch Kids Rich in Character at our school. So, Ambassadors, this is where it's at. We'll be coming to you, we'll be looking at dates for 2010. So stay tuned, stay tuned. Ambassadors, don't forget also, November the 19th, you've got in your diary, I'll send out emails again to remind you about, just to catch up, to round out the year for 2010. It'll be great to get us all together again. So November the 19th, stay tuned. Here's a thought. We spend so much of our energy and time developing ourselves to be fitter, faster, stronger, to stand the rigors of our sport and competition, the physical self, ultimately to win. But in contrast, we give a lot less time in developing that area which has a huge impact on how we play in the game of, of life itself. Yet it's that area, the inner fitness area, that ultimately determines the result in our sport and in our lives. So the question is, what time are you giving to develop and maintain this area of fitness? Have a great week.